Hi guys, James back once again for a brand new video. Hope you're all well and keeping safe. What an absolute glorious day it's been today. It just seems to keep getting hotter and hotter, doesn't it? It's absolutely stunning out there today. So in today's video, I am going to go through some of my pickups from the past couple of days. So I've got a few, I've had a few charity shop pickups today. I've got a... Uh, Two things from one below I'm going to show you. And I've got a few things I picked up on that crazy Amazon Friday to show you. So let's crack straight on. And I'm going to show you what I picked up today in the charity shop. So this morning I decided to take a trip to my favourite charity shop at the top of my street. And uh, they had a few new things on the shelf. No Blu-rays unfortunately today. But I did manage to pick up a few DVDs. So I'm going to go through now what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up was the, the first Final Destination. Truth be known, I've never seen this film. Um, I've seen clips of it, but I've never actually seen the whole film. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. And this cost me 10 pence. So yeah, whoa, that's a lot of, uh, lot of reviews on the back there. I know you can get this on Blu-ray, but I thought for 10p I'll try it out first, see if I like it. It does sound interesting. Right, the next thing I picked up was a, a 2001 film with Kim Bassinger. It's Bless the Child. The, the synopsis sold me on this one. I think I've heard of it, but I've never actually um, seen it. And the cast, Kim Bassinger, Christina Reach is in this film as well. So I'm looking forward to checking out Bless the Child. The next thing I picked up was uh, Kathy Bates in Misery. I think I saw a clip of this on. I was watching it on Gogglebox the once, and it looked interesting. But I've never, I've never seen it in a charity shop before. But I know it's got a Blu-ray release as well. So I'm looking forward to checking out Misery. And the next two film comedies I bought was um, a classic, but I didn't own it. It's Schwarzenegger and Devito in Twins. Ah. Oh. I've seen this many, many years ago. But um, yeah, I look forward to checking this one out again. I remember it being quite funny. And I know they will start together again in, was it Junior? So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Twins again. Again for 10 pence. Can't go wrong. And the last one, I know you can get it on um, Blu-ray. But it's quite expensive. But it's a film with Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi and Adam Sandler. 1994's Airheads. God, how long does it young does he look there? <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, I've never never seen this film. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. But I'm looking forward to seeing this one. That's the spine. It's the back. Just the trailer for the special features. It does look it does look quite good. If you've seen this one, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And the last thing I picked up from Charity Shop was a box set. So this has got six discs in, I think. So it would have cost me 60 pence. But I, I couldn't believe it was actually sat on the shelf. I know it's about 12 quid new on Amazon. But it is the Omen Pentology. I think I've only seen the first Omen film. I haven't seen the remake or the other sequels. But um, So that cost me 60 pence. It's absolutely nice condition and that's the uh, the back but I don't know I opened it up oh, as I opened it up inside it came with this and I found this a little bit freaky to be quite honest it's like a, a Polaroid photograph in like a little sleeve. So that came with it as well. So yeah, so that was the Omen. I'm looking forward to che checking the uh, the rest of the sequels of those out. So next, on Saturday, I popped into my uh, local one below at Mary Hill. And I was looking through the Blu-rays and... Um, there was a lot of stuff that's been in Poundland before, but I found this, and I was very chuffed to pick that up. 
The Beatles documentary by Ron Howard. Eight days a week. Yeah. I haven't seen this before, but I'm not, I've got a feeling this is going to be full of archive, archive material of the band through the years. And for a quid, can't go wrong. So that was the first pickup I picked up from One Below. And then, if you remember quite a while back, I picked up the first season of Black Sails on Blu-ray from One Below for a pound. But I went in today, that it wasn't a Blu-ray, but they did have season two of Black Sails. So I automatically uh, jumped on that one. Can't go wrong for a quid. That's the back. I've yet to see this show yet. I've still got it. Uh, I've still got it sealed. But I, I am going to watch this show in the future. So those were my two one below pickups. Now on to crazy Amazon Friday. Well, before I show you what I picked up, it was, it was Friday was just a madness day, weren't it? Really, it was like I woke, I woke up at uh, what time did I wake up? Was it? Seven, and I saw that never any story for two pound thirteen pence, and I was like, I posted that straight on the Facebook group, and um, pit, pit, they were like ten in stock, and like next thing I know, they'd all sold out, and there was like a two month waiting list to um, pick it up, which is absolutely crazy. But the throughout the day, the deals continued, and I just seemed to be getting better and better. So I'm going to show you right now what I picked up. I picked up four titles. And I'm going to show you what I picked up. So the first one I picked up was 1996 Mars Attacks. I think this cost me £2.64, pence, which is absolute crazy. I didn't actually own this. I've seen this before. Like I've seen it many, many years ago. Tom Jones is in this as well. So I did enjoy Mars Attacks. It's a Tim Burton film as well, so results. I don't think you get any special features on this disc. I think it's just a film, but for 263, who am I to complain? There's the back. So I was chuffed to pick that one up. And the next one I picked up, which I was very surprised it came with a nice slip, was Bonnie and Clyde. And it's it's come with the uh the Icon series slip, which is very nice. So that cost me two pound nine pence on the Amazon Crazy Friday. I'll take the slip off to show you. Different artwork underneath. Very nice. I've never seen this film to be honest. 1967. I've never seen it, but it does look very, very interesting. And there is some. There's lo a lovely history uh, channel make uh, documentary on there. So I'm looking forward to seeing Bonnie and Clyde. And the next two I picked up were both DC titles. So for £2.64 or something like that, I picked up Aquaman. I didn't have this in the collection. But um, I've, I've seen it before. I did enjoy it. But I thought for that price, I cannot leave it behind. So that's Aquaman. I picked that up. And the next one I picked up was for just over £2, I think. Supergirl. This was one of the early um, the early things I spotted alongside Never Ending Story. So I had to grab that Supergirl. I've got the first two seasons of the TV show on um, Blu-ray, but I didn't have the original film. So I was very, very chuffed. It's, it's only come out, I think, last year as well. It got released last year. So I'm very chuffed to pick up Supergirl. And um, for that price as well, that, that zoomed out. But it was a little bit annoying because um, on the on the Amazon's website, it was saying that uh, certain titles can't be delivered to your area. And it was getting very frustrating at points because they had some absolutely stunning stuff. Like that Stargirl season one, £5.60, that's crazy, isn't it? Absolute crazy. So guys, that's everything I've picked up over the past couple of days. So I hope you enjoyed that little video there. Put down in the comments below if you had any great Amazon finds on crazy Amazon Friday. I'd love to know what you picked up down below. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much again for watching. Give it a like, give me a thumbs up, 
And um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.